Well, well, well. Me and the DRZ are back at it again. As you hear, she sounds a little different. This is my first time taking it out. We have put a Yoshimura RS2 on it. We've done the 3x3 airbox mod and we've also jetted it. We're gonna go take her for a rip. Had a little troubles with it running. So that's mostly why we're out doing what we're doing right now when it's dark. I am super far from a mechanic or anything close to. Um, never claim to be, never will. Whenever I put all this on, the bike idled, it started up, everything worked just fine. But, it's still kind of hanging idle. Not as bad. It would idle really good, like no issues at all. But the moment you gave it gas, it just died. Just fell on its face and died. It didn't even bog, it just died. <laughs> Dude, this thing eats. What? What? <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so gangster, bro. Let to make sure we're recording, dude. Oh my god. So, it idled perfectly fine. As soon as you gave it gas, it just died. Anything over like a quarter throttle just died. So, I turned up the idle just a little bit. And it seems to be just fine now. So... We'll see. I'm actually going to ride this thing into work tomorrow. I'll probably make that a whole video in itself. Because, uh... Oh my god. Because I got to take this thing and get a VIN inspection done. As you can probably kind of hear. Uh, I still have a paper tag back there. I think it's still back there. And, um... I gotta get that taken care of because it's a weird ordeal. I won't get into it. There's my brights. I haven't even seen those yet. They do be working. These headlights are definitely not very good. I'll see all people complain about them. Dude, oh my god, it feels so good though. Look at that. <laughs> This thing is dope! <laughs> yeah, I very well just may end up finishing this off tomorrow. I ain't gonna hold you guys. That's all you get for now. I'm cold. And I'm going back home. So she rides, she runs. That's all I needed to know for the night. I can get it to work. I can get it home. That's all I was looking for. Don't kill me. I got blinkers. And mirrors. Alrighty, so fast forward to like almost 12 hours later, almost, we're pretty much right where he left off, but it's a lot colder, I'll tell you that, my hands are freezing already, but we're headed into work, uh, I don't really know how far it is, I don't really know what way I'm going to take yet, to be honest with you, I haven't figured that out yet. Oh, so much sand. Sketchy. Don't turn sharp on that stuff. Looks like there's some more. Go slow. So yeah, we got some snow. We got some ice. It's been a crappy winter. Good thing about today, 
is this is the coldest part of it so I just got to get through this Sounds so good. Alrighty guys, we are on lunch. As you see, we're at a tag office. We had to come here and do an inspection. This was a weird deal, really weird. Um, this bike's from Texas. There's a wreck up there, I just realized that. Huh. But uh, this bike came from Texas, got traded into the dealership I bought it from from Texas. So the title was clearly a Texas title. Dude, it was just a whole freaking ordeal. It was so annoying, but good thing is that uh, this idiot didn't even know I'm next to him that's done and over with now so people are so ignorant dude it blows my mind uh, anyway god I can't even keep a sh train of thought right now so, we had to come all the way over here, get a VIN inspection done, that was a whole ordeal in itself, and then we also need to go find some food because I'm starving. The dealership I dealt with, like, they're great people. They were really easy to work with, and like, I like the dealership, but it's just, getting this title has been a freaking doozy, dude. Come on. I'm hungry. I gotta get back to work in time so I can eat. That wind is pumping. Let me tell you. Holy crap, you feel it on this thing. Wow. I'm like riding sideways right now. This is crazy. That old man looked pissed. Get off my butt, bro. I don't like that. I think I'm gonna kinda touch on the three by three, the exhaust, the jet kit, and all that good stuff, and kinda my thoughts on it, and uh, kinda compare it to when I did ride it in stock versus now. Um, obviously, I'll come out and say like I'm not a great judge, I guess you could say because I rode this thing stock like twice but I mean I had a good enough feel for it I can I definitely feel the difference uh, and know that there's a difference so yeah whenever I get off work today I think that's what we'll be talking about on the ride to the crib hi right, guys we off work we headed home finally decided to warm up a little bit it's like bearable now, so for now, till the sun goes down. I should make it to the crib before then, though, so we'll be alright. So, before I cut this off, I kind of just wanted to give my two cents on uh, the jet kit, the exhaust, airbox mod, all that. So, that's what you guys are gonna get. You're gonna get my two cents on it. So, definitely the uh, biggest difference I've noticed after doing all this is um, obviously, it's a very obvious one, this thing is so much more peppy than it was and to me it was already super peppy to begin with just because I went from a Grom to this and this is a whole new just beast in itself. Um, but 
I mean, like, it is so much more peppy than it was. You definitely notice it. And I imagine the jets have a lot to do with that. I don't really know. Carb stuff's new to me. Gang. <laughs> idiots anyway limiter sounds good though doesn't it guys <laughs> it sounds so good Woo! see it seems to run better than it even did like i used to get off this thing when it was bone stock i know for a fact i had an exhaust leak so that could be part of it but i don't really smell like i used to when i get off this thing like i used to just smell like straight gas whenever i hopped off this thing and now it's hardly i mean you, obviously you ride any kind of motorcycle you're gonna smell a little bit like it but not to the extent that i was so i think we either fix that or my nose ain't nosing like it used to you know what i'm saying i know there's a dyno jet and a jd jet for these things and i think that's the only two jet kits you can buy could be wrong but i went with the jd jet kit and pretty simple for what it was um i told you guys i kind of had to mess with the idle to get everything kind of running the way it's supposed to but after doing that i've had zero issues zero complaints but uh yeah super simple like they send you a whole sheet of instructions and whatnot so you got all that on the fly you get that with the kit um it shows you like elevation what you should use for each one i've heard it's pretty accurate so i went off of it um i've heard mixed things about that but i've heard it's pretty accurate and everybody that works with him has said from what i've seen has said they're super great people to deal with like if you were to email anything they're gonna email you right back and very very nice to work with so that alone for me was almost a buying point in itself so all in all compared to the grom especially now after having the exhaust on some car work done i don't think i'm gonna miss it um i think i will simply because like the mini rides are such a vibe bro such a vibe but I mean the power the freedom i'm gonna have on this thing too man it's gonna be hard to beat so i'm super stoked about that i'm super stoked about uh you know seeing what other kind of mods we can do on this thing and figuring out more about the suzuki's man i'm excited to learn a new platform i'm excited to uh god this road just beats you up i don't think i can follow you guys that water do be cold also before I cut this off I can't go without saying this because this just happened recently the other day we rolled over a thousand subscribers this is a goal of mine that I have imagined for like a long long time um it took a little longer than i wanted it to but that happens when you don't upload consistently like i do so i can't be mad at anybody but myself for that one but i do want to say thank you all for hitting that subscribe button and for those of you who haven't please do it helps me a lot it lets me know i'm doing something right and uh you know keep on showing that support it definitely does not go unnoticed i know I need to be better about uploading but as you see this beautiful weather we have here it ain't the easiest to get out in all right 
especially when you weigh 130 something pounds and your skin and bones so yeah I just wanted to say thank you all for that the, I appreciate you all man it's been cool it's been fun it's even cooler when you get it into gear though <laughs> I will see you in the next video which is hopefully next week and not like three weeks a month from now <laughs> this weather is stupid time changes next month though so we're looking up I'm ready for that I'm ready for some warm weather to come and have some good old times on this thing so as always y'all keep it real I will see you in the next one peace